Tommy's steering the boat just now, but that's not my real job. My real job is writing books. Books for children just like you. I'm writing a new book just now, all about Rosie and Jim. They're my two rag dolls that I have on the boat. I like to pretend that they come to life. And I get ideas for stories about them from the things I see as I travel along on my boat. What shall I put in my story today? It's a cloudy day, so I'll start with that. One. Cloudy. Stay. And then I'll draw the river with my two blue pens like this. And I'll put this picture of the boat on my drawing to show the place. And now I'll be on my way. Get my life jacket on. I'm going along this canal today into Birmingham. So I'll get on my way. Oh, well, my key's gone. <laughs> Thanks, Dak. <laughs> Jim, what? We're not moving. <gasps> What's fish gog? Don't know. Come what on. What can I have done with my keys? I don't know where they are. Oh, dear me. Look at this. Oh, my hat. Rosie. Yeah? Look. What? Fishdog's lovely old hat. What? It's running away. Oh, no. But Fishdog always wears a hat. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Looks like the end of my hat. Poor old Fizzcock. Oh, no. Never mind, though. I needed a new one. Rosie? Yeah? We could, we could find Fizzcock a new hat. Yeah, we could even make Fizzcock a new hat. Make Fizzcock a brand new hat. Yes, it is. <laughs> Well, then what have I done with that key? Oh! There it is, under the book. That's handy. I can get on to Birmingham now. I think I'll go and see if I can get a new hat. His head warm, as warm as a bat. La 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 la, stick it and shape it and give it to me. And make a nice hat for Fizzgog, you'll see. You'll <laughs> see. 
That hat's too big for her. But at least she's got a hat. Trim it and shape it and give it to me And make a nice hat for this dog you'll see <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make a really big hat Yeah, I'm, I'm making a little hat <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at all those brownies in their hats It's not fair I wish I had mine Keep his head warm, won't <laughs> they? Keeping my head warm. Well, here I am in the middle of Birmingham. So now I can go and buy a new hat. <laughs> Rosie, he won't have to look very much, will he? <laughs> no, and he won't just find one hat. Will he? No, Rosie, yeah. he'll find one, two new hats. <laughs> <laughs> two hats. Yeah, yeah. we made two hats. <laughs> Rosie, he, he, he didn't even see them. Oh, dear. Never mind, Jim. Mm. Come on, let's try again. Yeah, let's try putting them on his head. Jim, Fizzcock's coming, come on! Good morning, officer. Good morning. Um, I wonder if you can help me, please. I'm looking for somewhere to buy a hat. I don't know my way around, really. Ah. Yes, sir. Um, if you go straight down there, yes. take the first on your left, go down there about 100 yards, um, you'll come to another turning on your right by a big high-rise block of flats. Um, if you go down there, a little way, you'll come straight to the rag market. You should find lots of hats there, sir. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. That wasn't Fizzgog. Jim! Rosie! Here comes Fish Dog! <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me, is this the right way to the rug market, please? Oh, yes. Um, if you just follow the path round, then you'll soon see it. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How strange. How strange. Rosie, that wasn't Fish Dog. <laughs> well, this must be the rag market. I'll have a look for a hat here. Where's Fish Dog, Rosie? Don't know. <gasps> there he is, Rosie. There's Fish Dog. Yeah, now we can put our hats on him. Yeah, two new hats for Fish Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there are lots of lovely hats here. I wonder if they've got one to suit me. I'll have a look. There! Two new hats for this guy! Yeah. <laughs> ah, crash helmet. I'd love to try that. Now, how's that for a hat? Well, I used to ride a motorbike years ago, but I drive a boat now, so I don't need a crash helmet. <laughs> he looks like, he looks like a spacey, spacey man. Well, what about a postman's hat? Hmm. Well, I could get up early in the morning and deliver the letters before I set out on the rag doll. It's a bit small for me, though. He thinks he's Postman Pat! <laughs> postman Pat! <laughs> postman Pat! <laughs> you are right, sir? Yes, thank you. I'm just looking for a hat, really, to fit me. Anything in particular? Well, I live on a boat, you see, and I've lost my hat. I had a, a nice hat that fitted me, and... Uh, Really, I'd like to see what, what kind of hat you've got. What about something like this? 
Oh, my goodness me, this is a big one, isn't it? Uh, 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 well, <laughs> it's a bit floppy. I think I might crash my boat if I wore that one. Oh, Jim, it's too big! Jim! <laughs> too big! Oh, no! <laughs> Something like this. Ooh, that's a little one, isn't it? It's rather funny. Well, that looks rather funny. I think people <laughs> might laugh at me in that one. Oh, Rosie! It's too small! Oh, Jim, I made it too small! Too small! How about a casual and oh, everyday wear? Rather like that one, yes. Hmm. That's not a fizzgog hat, is it? <laughs> no! no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's smart. Ooh. That's not a Fizzgog hat either! No, <laughs> do you think it suits me? It doesn't look quite right. No, not quite Maybe me. not. Not quite me. What about that one over there? That, this Panama yeah, hair. That looks like my old hat that I lost. Do you want to try this one yes, on? Yes, I'd like to drive out. Oh, Jim! That is a Fizzgog hat! It looks right for a boat somehow, doesn't it? It's quite like the one I lost. And it's just the right size! <laughs> Fizzgog's got a new hat! Yeah! <laughs> Got a new hat. There we are. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Lovely. Thanks okay. very much. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rosie. Poor old duck hasn't got a hat yet. Yeah, but Jim, this hat is just the right size. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Rosie. Yeah. This hat is just the right size for. Ragdoll! Ragdoll! <laughs> there! Hat for Ragdoll! <laughs> a hat on a duck? I've never seen that before. But it's a good fit. And a hat on the boat as well. Now we all have hats. That's given me an idea for a story. Now I'm going to write a story all about Rosie and Jim and what they might have got up to if they could have come to life today. One cloudy day, Rosie and Jim went shopping in the market. They came to a stall that was full of hats, all kinds of hats. I'd like a hat, said Rosie. Me too, said Jim. They tried a few. Try that one, said Rosie. Jim put a big black hat on his head. Whizzo, fizzo, it was a magic hat. Help, cried Jim. He had grown taller than three houses. Take it off, shouted Rosie. He did. That's better, said Jim. He was his proper size again. Your turn, said Jim. Try this one. Rosie put a big flowery hat on her head. Whizzo, fizzo, it was a magic hat. Rosie grew and grew, as fat as ten pancakes. Take it off, cried Jim. She did. That's better, said Rosie. She was her proper shape again. I don't think it suited you, said Jim. I don't think rag dolls wear hats, said Rosie. And they went home to tea. Rosie. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, chugging along on the old red dog. I'm off now to see what I can find to make a new story for next time. So I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>